My name is Father Dan Cambra. I'm a Marian of the Immaculate Conception, the, the religious community that operates the National Shrine of Divine Mercy. And I'm going to speak today about St. Expedite. If you've heard of St. Expedite, you've been to New Orleans, Louisiana. And if you've never heard of St. Expedite, don't feel bad, because he's not really an authentic saint of the church. However, the Ursuline sisters received a statue just prior to the French Revolution. And this statue was of a Roman soldier who had obviously been a martyr. And when they received the statue, all over the outside of the crate that it came in was the word expedite. The sisters opened the crate and when they saw the statue, nobody could recognize who the saint was. They even went so far as to ask the Bishop of New Orleans if he might have any insight as to who this saint was. No response came. The Ursuline sisters wrote a letter to the people that had sent the statue from France. Unfortunately, the French Revolution had already begun. We don't know whether the Ursuline's letter ever reached France, or if it did reach France, if the people who sent the statue ever sent any reply. No reply was received by the Ursuline sisters. Nevertheless, it was a nice looking statue, and the sisters decided to put it in a corridor of their school, where it remained for several decades. And the sisters rather jokingly referred to the statue as Saint Expedite. The students in turn developed what was referred to as the nine hour novena to Saint Expedite, asking Saint Expedite in a novena of nine hours, what would normally be asked of any other saint over a period of nine days, a normal novena. As it turned out, I guess there must have been some positive responses because the devotion to St. Expedite continued to grow among the student population. And as the girls graduated and married or entered other religious communities, the devotion continued to grow in the city of New Orleans. Today, if you travel to New Orleans and you go to the church of Our Lady of Guadalupe, which is right next to one of the major cemeteries, as a matter of fact, the cemetery where Madame DeVoe is buried, you'll find inside the church a statue of St. Expedite, just to the right of the front doors. And in this statue, you see a young Roman soldier with a palm branch in one hand, indicating that he was a martyr, and in the other hand, he holds up a cross with the word hodie on it, meaning today in Latin. Under his right foot is a crow with a banner that says crass or yesterday. And at his left foot is his Roman soldier helmet. He doesn't have a sword on his hip. So clearly he has given up his work as a Roman soldier taken up the witness palm branch of martyrdom and held, holds forth for all humanity to see his witness to the cross of Christ, our salvation in Christ. He's a, an interesting little tidbit of Catholicism, not an actual saint of the church, but nevertheless, an intriguing little piece of our American Catholic history. Now, sometimes people have asked, well, what's the feast day of St. Expedite? Because we all know every saint has a feast day. Well, there really isn't a feast day for St. Expedite. But if I can offer my opinion and add to the legend of St. Expedite, it seems to me that April 1st, or April Fool's Day, might be a good day 
because I think there's a certain lightheartedness in the Ursuline sisters who carried out his statue to their students, in the students who developed a novena to St. Expedite, confident ultimately that every good gift comes from God anyways, and you and I today, if we don't take ourselves too seriously, will probably be happier in this life and certainly be happier in eternity with Christ. May God bless you.